Hey everybody, on this episode of Technic, we're gonna look at a portable music solution from JBL. This is the JBL Charge 5. So portable music, you're on the go, you wanna jam, you gotta have something good. I mean, let's face it, it's not the 80s. No one's rocking around with a boom box anymore, right? As sad as that is, I wish we were. So essentially what we're expecting from this is some big robust sound in a, a small, portable, easy to carry around size. And I think it has that. JBL's known for good sound quality, so I would expect we're gonna see something pretty good there too. But there's actually some extra features in this one that are pretty exciting. Now, this touts 20 hours of playtime on a single charge. Now, that that charge is four hours. However, we've sampled some of the other models, so if sound output is what I'm expecting, to have 20 hours is pretty incredible. So when we open the box here, we can see it says play and charge endlessly. Pretty simple packaging here. Let's do that right there. This is rugged it's a some type of a metal overlay and it does have like some some rubber runners i'm not saying that you want to drop this but if you do end up chucking this at your little brother you know maybe this hits him and not this john you want to try it out real quick no so we got the nice jbl styling here obviously we've got subs in the sides power bluetooth sync i believe this is boost we'll talk about that in a second volume down volume up and it looks like we can hit play here so as we open the back here we have this usb c port for charging we also have this standard usb and then it also has an output function well why you might ask well because this can actually be used as a power bank as well if i'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of that playtime, i can actually plug my phone in here i won't have a full 20 hours of playtime, but this while streaming my music will charge my device that's pretty incredible JBL is also very proud of a feature they have. So if, let's say I'm having a party, a party boost, maybe they're more clever than I thought. I can actually have a series of these and I can have them around the, the beach party or I can have them around the campsite, whatever it is that we're doing there. Uh, outdoor uh, movie at your house, put up a projector screen, have these around. You can actually sync all of these and play on multiple devices, creating stereo mode or even a mobile type of surround sound. So I think what we're gonna see is a pretty easy sync process. I don't know how much battery power we have out of the box. I would recommend probably charging this. I'm gonna hit my Bluetooth button there, which I just did. It asked me, did I really want to pair to the JBL Charge 5? I said yes, and we are attached. Using YouTube Studios um, royalty-free music, this is the stuff that's safe to use. If not, we st still have the worst of attorneys. I didn't say that. Don't hold me to that. We're going to find some royalty-free clips real quick, and then we're probably going to test this and tell you what, what we think versus just trying to relay that through video, which is hard to do. Here we go. So we're going to get... Uh, a little clip here and see what this sounds like. I think the funkiness that you're hearing is the actual song, not the speaker. After that, I'm a little sad. Let's go with... I'm uh, essentially... I'm essentially at 50% volume. A couple of samples here. Because I'm a little funky. This is what it sounds like when Jack Johnson goes to the bathroom in the morning. After he has his banana pancakes. Anyway, that's the dumbest joke I think I've ever made. I, I mean, it's kind of funky music on this thing that's free, but I mean, I want to be, I want to be safe. YouTube's going to block me otherwise. So let's get a little bit of R&B. Oh, they don't even. The jam. Oh, I feel like Rick James about to jump out. Oh. Anyway. Gata, gata. <laughs> gata. Okay, I'm sorry. I got to play this one. This one's just because of the name of the clip. Uh, you know, you're you're hanging out with some friends. You're looking for royalty-free music to play. And you're like, hey, guys, put down the Beyonce. Because I don't want to get blocked. So how about some corn dogs in Santa Monica? <laughs> Dip. Uh, anyway, so sound quality is really, really rich. I don't know if you can pick all that up in a video that we're filming and then pitching to you across the internets, 
across the interwebs, but it sounds really good, solid, and rich here. It's got some deep basses. It's got those high clangy little tremble notes. None of, none of that's really blurring across each other. Now, I would imagine that if we push this to the extreme and go as loud as it can go, we're probably going to see it struggle. I feel like at 50% with what we're playing, that's about the real listening range for this. So I may not even show you this in, in audio form, but for me personally here, I'm going to crank this up the rest of the way. And I just want to see what kind of, if we get any kind of rattle or, or tear to the, uh, to the, to the music, to the sound, a little bit of tea time. We're at a hundred percent. You never go to 11, but we're there. See his bouncing? Might have just found my new ringtone, right? I feel like I'm yelling. Sorry. Okay, so hold up though. As loud as that was, I don't know, for me, that was really clear. That was really kind of clear and crisp. I actually kind of also like the visual of the sides kind of bumping. I think it sounds pretty good. So I'm going to take a second. I'm just going to kind of jump away from you and I'm going to go listen to some actual, you know, uh, whatever. I don't know. We always make Nicki Minaj jokes around here. So I'm going to go listen to some Nicki. And when I come back, I'm going to tell you what I think, how much we paid for it, and if I think you should go get one. Sound quality, two thumbs up. Sound volume, presence to fill a room. And this is a decently sized room. It has no problem pushing this room. Now, we listened to it at volume 100. Had a couple of songs crisp and clack a little bit. But for the most part, very solid. Even at its full end. I would never, and I never do recommend listening to something at full volume. But if you have to get there, if you have to go all the way... It seems like it's capable. So just to recap, we're at 20 hours of playtime on a four hour charge. That's pretty incredible. We're IP67 waterproof and dustproof. Crazy. Um, it can be used as a power bank. And again, uh, how much power you're gonna be able to share there, that's gonna depend on the device and full charge and what you're doing and what how you're using. Are you playing versus just using it to charge? Are you playing music while you're charging? So there's some variables there. Um, and then outside of that, you can use features like Party Boost to sync these together with others and get a, a more surround sound cinematic audio experience throughout your house or at a party or at an event. That's pretty incredible. Where we bought this at Walmart currently, they are at $149. All right, so is it super cheap? No. Is it worth 150 bucks? If you're an audio head and you're gonna wanna enrich your portable music experience, you wanna be, have to be tethered to your car where you're listening, you wanna be able to get out of that and do something. Very few times do we actually say, kind of, we recommend a buy. However, with this, for 150 bucks, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with this. So, guys, I wanna say thanks for coming by and checking out our thoughts on this. If you have one of these or you're interested, let us know in the comments below and tell us what you think. We're excited to bring new content. We've got more stuff on the way. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.